everyone. My name is Glenda with SureFit Designs, whimsically referred to as Glenda the Good Stitch. Many of you have been following along in this Make It Sew series, which is a beginner sewing series. And you know, being a beginner puts you in the company of all of us who sew, because at some point or other in our lives, we were all beginners. And what's important as a beginner is that you get good instruction and excellent educational information. And in, at, in that regard, SureFit Designs is totally 100% dedicated to your success and advancement so that you ultimately will move out of the beginner category and feel confident to call yourself an intermediate. SureFit Designs has a lot of resources for you and we have the SureFit Designs website, surefitdesigns.com and the surefitdesignslearningcenter.com. In the Learning Center, you're going to see the video library, which is just absolutely chock full of all kinds of complimentary videos. And there is also an article library and that continues to grow. Again, the information is all there to help propel you in your experiences and your success as a seamstress. In the SureFit Designs main website, you're going to see a tab towards the top and it's called Free Stuff. And in that Free Stuff category, there is all kinds of information that I am just going to review with you. They're valuable resources and I'd like to show you what they are so that you're comfortable using them when you start downloading them for yourself. One of the first things you're going to see is Sally Silhouette. What's Sally Silhouette? Well, she's called a croquis. It's an undressed body form that you can take with you uh, when you're in ready to wear or wherever you happen to might be and copy down designs. You're going to get Sally's front and Sally's back in case there are special design details happening with the back of the garment. And you might say to me, well, why would I copy it down when I've got my smartphone and I can just snap a photograph of it? Well, the whole process of actually drawing a garment on our croquis is that it helps to gel in your mind the actual pattern pieces that you're going to need. And I know you're going to start thinking about the construction process as you start jotting down the ideas. So having a copy of Sally Silhouette with you is really a good idea. Another uh, thing that you're going to find in the free stuff category is this cheat sheet on estimating fabric yardage. I did do a lesson in the Make It So series on how to estimate fabric yardage, but this cheat sheet, again, is something that you can tuck with you in your handbag, and it's gonna help you out to when you're in that fabric store and fabric is jumping out and saying, buy me, it's gonna help you know how much to buy for any given project. Another resource that is just ex extremely valuable is called the SureFit Design Super Index. And this is something that was done by one of our SureFit Designs customers. Her name is Sarah Gray from SewTogether.net. Sarah is a very proficient seamstress, but in order to help her organize all the plethora of information that's available within the Sherfa Designs fitting and sewing system, she actually did an Excel spreadsheet on all of the kits, all of the leaflets, everything that was in SureFit Designs, and she has gifted it to me and gifted it to you. And I will be truly forever grateful for Sarah to offer this to everybody as a complimentary item. How this works is that it's all color coded. So green is the children's kit, pink is the dress kit, yellow is the pants kit, and blue is the shirt kit. And then there are keys up here to look at. In the information key, you'll see that C equals construction and D equals design and I equals illustration. So as an example, when you're going through this, this uh, index, if we want to know how to make princess lines, you're going to look in the dress kit under uh, seam lines and styles. And as I come down to Princess Line, I read across and I can see that those columns are in pink, which means that it's coming out of the dress kit and there's a key and a code beside it. So it tells you what page to go to and what kind of information you're going to find there. This is a resource that is truly invaluable. And once again, thank you so much to Sarah Gray. Something that I've put together for you is called the sewing glossary and terminology little 
little Bible and little dictionary. Throughout all of the lessons that I've been teaching you, I've used words like trimming and grading, clipping and notching, stay stitching, under stitching. And for some of you, those are all strange foreign words. Well, that is until, of course, you start using them and understanding the application of them. Here is a guide for you on having your own dictionary by your side that gives you all of the sewing terms and a definition of what they mean. This is something that I have talked about previously, and this is your sewing construction guideline. This is the guideline that's going to give you the sequential steps of how to sew a garment together. And that was something actually that I covered in the, in the previous video, but this is a resource that you will definitely want to download. And last but certainly not least is a sewing notions guide. Now, this Sewing Notions Guide has on it a list of resources and tools that are going to make your job a lot easier. This is kind of like baking the cake. You can't make a cake without the correct ingredients and the right size of pan and the cookbook. And so these are your tools that are going to help you get your project done. I've always remembered my dad saying to me when I began sewing back very, very many years ago, he said, Glenda, always make sure that you've got the right tools because when you try to do a project without the right piece of equipment, you make mistakes, you make errors, and it frustrates the whole process. And so if you really want to learn how to sew, make sure you've got the appropriate tools to make that process easy for you. Where you're going to find this Sewing Notions Guide is as a gift for you for signing up for the SureFit Designs newsletter. On every page of my website, at the bottom, there is a sign-up form where all you need to do is enter your first name and your email address, and it will take you to the subscription gifts page. This Sewing Notions guideline is one of those gifts. So I would like to say thank you so much to all of you who have participated in this Make It So series. I know that there's been a lot of information, and I know that I also said practice makes perfect, and practice really does make perfect. The more you sew, the more you will become proficient in that technique, and the more rewarding it's going to be for you, because your clothing with SureFit Designs will not only fit, but they'll be sewn together well.